What's up guys, an average origamist here, and in this video we are going to be making a fox. Now this model is not like really really complex, but it's awesome because you can like customize the fox to however you want. So let's let's take a look. I've made a couple so far. Um so th this is the fox. And right now, uh so like that's this fox is like sitting down. This fox, this fox is standing up, um, and you can make the fox, like, this, this specific fox doesn't stand on four legs, but you can make it stand on four legs, um, so, that's the fox, as you can see, it's not that, it's not that complex, but it's cool, because you can make it look however you want. And it's it's all up to the it's all up to the folder. So let's move these out of the way. Um, this is what a fox looks like standing up, and I think we'll make this one actually in this tutorial. We're gonna make that one. So let's do that. But first, um, I need to teach you how to make the paper because in this one, it's not a square. It's actually a rectangle. That its height is what? Um, sorry, it's width. It's Let's say length. It, th this is the length because length is always longer. Um, the length is three times the width. Okay? So to do that, you split the paper up into thirds. To do that, the easiest way I found is uh, you measure the uh, length of the paper. I believe this paper is, um, I, I used inches, but I'm I want to say this is 25 centimeters, but anyway, it doesn't matter. You find you find the length, divide it by three, and then make marks every third. Um, and the final step is to fold along those marks and then to cut the paper. I would highly recommend using a an industrial like paper cutter, like it, it's kind of like a guillotine sort of sort of thing, but. Since I don't have one in my room, I actually do have one. You know what? I think I'm going to use it too. But regardless, you're still going to make this fold so you know where to cut along. Alright. And so if you do it correctly, if you split the paper up correctly into thirds, you you can, once you do once you make the first fold you can take this edge and just fold it right to that crease instead of look instead of following your mark because that's how thirds work there we go so as you can see that is pretty dang close pretty dang close. So that is, this paper is now split up into thirds. I will be right back and this will be cut. Alright guys and we are back. I used the paper cutter and it was very effective. Um, so now we have three, you can make three foxes with this but I'm just gonna make one for the tutorial. Um, three times as long as it is wide. So let's get started. Let's get these out of the way. All right, first step, fold it, ha uh, fold it in half, this way, long way. Let me just uh, zoom in really quick. There we go. All right, uh, fold the paper long ways. So. Now, since the paper is so long, you have to be, you, have, you gotta be careful. It's, e it's easy to mess this fold up. It's easy to mess the first couple of folds up, to be honest. There we go. This is gonna be the, the spine of the fox. Perfect. Unfold that. Uh, now we are going 
to make a fold, make a uh, reference crease from here to here by taking by taking this edge and folding it to the center. So don't don't fold this too hard. Like don't fold it down too hard, but fold it fold it all the way. So you get this and unfold, obviously. Now, fold this down, this next step down hard. Uh, take the edge and fold it to the crease you just made. So. I gotta do it this way because if I pull it away from me, it's tough. It's surprisingly hard to fold like a long strip like this. Fold it accurately. I think I got it. All right, there we go. So once you have that, uh, we are going to do the same thing on the other side. But since we already have this, what you can do is uh, fold it in half. So instead of making the reference crease, just use this. So now let's let's fold this over top. Just a little bit, J just like, just do this. Don't don't uh, crease it all the way down though, because if you do, like this will create space between the paper, uh, unfold it, and now crease it all the way down, like this. Um, now when you, when you fold in half, they should, yeah, see, it's perfect. Perfect. A little bit blurry because the camera can focus, but you get the point. All right, guys. Uh, now for some real folding. Here we go. So, first things first. This side's gonna be the. It doesn't matter, but I'm just saying. Like this side's the head. This side's the body. Um. Let's go. Uh. Let's do this step. Unfold this a little bit. Take the corner and just fold it in. Um. So it's against this crease line. Like that. And fold her back up. Do the same to the other side. We're folding the head right now. All right. Right, yeah. Now, um, unfold. Unfold everything. Sorry. This, is, this was what I was considering doing beforehand. Um, really quick, we need to, we need to separate one third of the paper. So take this corner, or rather take this edge and fold it to this edge. Uh, do, this is just a reference, don't, don't crease it too hard. Okay, now, uh, fold, fold this paper along this edge. So this is one third, this is exactly one third, and I'm actually gonna do it the opposite way like this. It doesn't matter, but it's easier for me to see. I'm creasing it down. All right, crease is hard. Well, actually don't, just, just crease it. Because uh, this is another reference crease. Okay, now that we have that, refold the last last two steps. Corners are in. All right. Now you'll see why we did this 
because this this next step is take this sorry take this edge and fold it to the crease we just made like that all right and now take this edge and fold it to this edge All right, next, uh, this flap, fold it up just a little bit. Don't don't actually crease it, just fold it up a little bit. Um, now do the same thing on the other side. Take this edge and put it to the top edge. Now there's gonna be some overlapping, just ignore it for a second. Crease, crease to the center line, do not crease any farther. So cre crease right to there. Okay, now when, when they're both creased, when both of these folds are down at the same time, you're gonna get something like this. Um, it should meet at a point. Okay. So grab the grab the two edges like I am, and just and just fold it down both ways one at a time. Okay. And you'll get this. All right. So once you have this, the next step is to. Take this crease and fold it along this edge, like this. It's not going to lie flat yet, so unfold it. Make sure, um, make sure it looks like this. It goes to that point. This crease goes to that point. All right, and now do that to the other side. So this uh, this crease to that edge. All right, um, you'll get this, and it's gonna be like it's gonna be bubbling here. Let me zoom in. There we go. Okay, it's gonna look just like this. All you do is put your thumb here and flatten it so this center crease is aligned with the um, other center crease, and then crease down like this. So you'll get something. You'll get it just like this. Okay. All right, next step. We are going to... All right, so you see this crease? This crease was made when we folded the, the big triangle, but it's not on the other side. So let's make it on the other side really quick. So all you do, it's it's a crease. God, this is really hard to see. Um, it's a crease from this intersection point and then you just take it take it across horizontally so so let's make that really quick before we do the next step there it's it's that and let's reinforce this one all right cool all right so this next step open this flap up Take this edge and fold it to this edge and mount and fold this crease. So like this. And you'll get it exactly like this. Just like that. All right, let's do it to the other side. So open it up, reverse this fold, and take this edge to this edge. Sorry, I sort of I sort of lost the uh, crease, but I found it. There we go. All right, so you'll get this. 
Um, yeah, that's that's good. Okay, next step, we are going to flip it over and just take these two uh, corners and fold them towards the center. Just like that. Flip it back over and it'll look just like this. Okay. Uh, now we are going to fold this corner behind from this point up. Just like that. There we go. Uh, next, this is semi-tough step. We're gonna take this point and fold it to the center uh, to make eyes. So there's no reference, but you just you fold it down enough, and you gotta ooh, you gotta open this up a little. Okay. Uh, be careful not to rip this white part, and just and just curve it down like this. And you want to fold it down enough, so here, watch me do it first. You want to fold it down enough so, like, two little eyes form. Like, this would be, this isn't enough. Um, I'd say that is about perfect. Right there. Alright, and ma make sure, like, make sure it lays flat underneath this flap. Like that, perfect. Um, okay, so you see like, you see this gap? Here and there, there and there. Uh, you want that. Don't fold it down too much or the gap won't be there. Um, the, the gap, the gap on either side, are, the, those are the eyes. Okay. Um, that was probably, that was probably the second hardest step. That is the second hardest step in this whole thing. So that shows how easy this is. Um, but anyway, so next step, we are going to, we are going to fold the entire body. So let's start with this, flip it over and we are going to make a crease from here, from this point, this point right there, all the way across. Um, so basically take this edge. Take this edge and fold it to this edge. Just like that. So now we have this crease and do the exact same thing to the other side. Just like that so you'll get this X and finally flip it over fold uh, fold down create a horizontal line through the intersection point all right the pre creases are done uh, really quick though uh, Fold these two corners to the center. Obviously, line so line this edge up with the center crease. That is implied. Just like that. All right. Um, now we're gonna fold the top. So it's literally just just follow the pre creases, and it'll collapse like this. Okay. Flip it over. Now we are here. Uh, next step. Fold this entire fold this entire point from this point 
to this point, like this. Uh, the paper is pretty thick, so just take your time and make sure make sure it doesn't slide too much. There we go. Um, and now take this point and fold it to the tip of the head. Like that. Alright, it seems like, yeah, mine's a little off. Oops. Alright, it looks like my whole head has shifted a little. There. There we go. Sorry, the head was like tilted. So, so my fold was fine. Alright, um, and then unfold. Uh, next step, we're going to open up the whole thing. And uh, collapse the and collapse and open sync this uh, this square we just made. So first we're going to reverse the, the square, the square of folds, the square of creases. All right, uh, the outside is now reversed. Now we're gonna reverse the inside. And by reverse, if you don't know what that means, it's just fold the creases the opposite way they already are. So now we have this. Um, now just collapse it. So the four corners are like this. Push in the center. And just collapse it like this. Uh, just re repeat the step we did before, only with the center uh, sunk. So you'll get this. You'll get exactly this. And it should, the center, the inside should look like that. Okay. Now we are going to simulta simultaneously fold this under the head and fold this out from under the whole body. So we'll get this. Okay. Uh, now for the, well, let's, let's not do the hardest step yet. Um, let's, let's, uh, pleat the, pleat the body. So this, we're going to, we're going to make a pleat for the back legs right now. Take this, oops, take this point and put it to the center of the head. There's no reference, but just, this is the reference kind of just to about like in between this white edge and this top edge put put this point in between that and then unfold after making the crease okay and actually don't unfold sorry now pleat it leave a good amount like actually we're gonna fold it kind of like in thirds like fold it back right about there to be completely honest, it depends on the type of the, the position of the fox um, to like for how far you fold this, how, how big you make this pleat, but just like that works. And you can always make it bigger if you decide that it's not big enough. Uh, but anyway, now let's do the, uh, the hardest step. So be careful because you might rip your paper. First, let's fold up. Like, we're in, in the in the book, it, it, this happens all at the same time. But let's fold up these two flaps towards the center, like this. These are the ears. Just like that. All right, and now let's form. Let's fold the body and form the head. So after messing around with it, like I've obviously been able to do it before, but to like. To teach it is a whole different thing, but I figured it out. So, um, but before we even do the hardest step, lift lift the head up and fold these two, the top flaps, only the top flaps, from from the center point to this point. So like this and like this. And you don't have to go to the center point. You could go less to the center point, like less than the center point, and it'll make the it'll make the. That's a bad example. 
it'll make this chest area longer and flatter instead of pointy. But I like it pointy because it looks better. Okay, so here we go. Fold the body. This is for the hardest step. Fold up. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> fold the body down like this. And we're going to we're going to open up the back. You, you see this? You see the top of the head? Mountain fold the top of the head like this. Okay. And you'll see in the center. You'll see on the inside. Like th this starts uh, mountain folding as well. And that's good. That's what we want. Okay. Um, I'm going to fold the ears just a little bit just to get them in place. And the whole thing will slowly be able to flatten. Okay. Um. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Perfect. Now the cool thing with this fox is that you can do it, like after making the base, you can make it however you want. Um, so if you figure out a different way to do it than I just did, then by all means do it. Just whatever looks good. But after, but um, just stylize it however you want. But this is how I have figured it out. So the back will look like this. Now, I know it's not, like, completely clean, but it allows you to move the head back and forth by altering the position of, of this edge. It's hard to see, I know. Um, but anyway, that, that is how you fold the head. I'm going to say it right now, it'll take a lot of, uh, like maneuvering and messing around with it, but it's worth it because this fox is really cool. So now you can, you can curve the ears a little bit or however you want, but I'm going to just curve, I'm going to curve the ears like this. Okay. Um, This should be folded like that. This um, folding that part down was actually like a step, but I kind of I kind of just did the last few steps in one. There, there we go. Okay, I like it. Um, and like if the head like see how this neck is too like tall, let's let's fix that. So th this might not be your case, but in my case, the neck is too tall. Again, the cool thing with this fox is that you can like mess around with it. It makes a really nice base to do whatever you want. So I'm going to open this up and I'm just going to uh, crimp it. Trying to make it, make sure it's symmetrical. And by the way, after this point, after the last step, and honestly, even the last step, it's like completely up to you how you fold this. You can fold it however you want. Um, because this, like this base is like, is really nice to do whatever you want with this fox. But yeah, so you see, I just made the neck uh, shorter. I'm gonna fold that up so it doesn't show. All right. Ooh, I, I forgot a step by the way, my bad. Um, the tip, the tip of the face, just fold that up a little bit, just a little bit. Obviously you should do this before, but it doesn't really matter. There we go. All right. Don't forget that. Um, anyway, once, once you're happy with the face, once you're happy with the head or you've given up <laughs> because it's frustrating and it is, it really is frustrating, but you just keep messing with it. Um, now onto the body. This is the fun part. So we are going to be making the fox that looks like this. Um, I've never done this yet, but I'm just gonna, be, I mean, honestly, with this part, you just make it up as you go. Uh, let's make the tail really quick. So open it up. We are going to 
yeah we're gonna want to make we're gonna want to make the crease go in because we want the tail to like we want the tail to fan out kind of so let's make the crease like again you're making this up like there's no references it's just all stylized but so like about here to about I'm just trying to see if that'll look good. So this crease will be the tail. Um, that's the tail's a little too long. Let me there. So I'm making this pleat, this pleat right here, a little bit bigger, so the tail is shorter. Um, yeah, that's gonna be the tail. I like that. So, and now we have more paper to work with to make the. Uh, Make the leg, make the back leg. So fold that in, now flatten it like this. Okay, so you get this. And obviously if you close this, let's do it to the other side really quick before I explain what we're doing. Um, it's important to make it symmetrical, so Let's just make a reference right there. Now, finish the fold like this. All right, so we've got this. We've got this fold, and now let's flatten it. Okay, so obviously, if we left the tail like this, we've got this like really ugly paper right here. So let's let's try it. Let's see if we can get rid of that paper. So how are we going to do that? Um, let's let's take this edge and fold it to the center. Actually, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let's take this edge and fold it against this. Not against this. Fold it down until fold fold the crease along this edge right here. So so the paper goes away basically, and take it all the way to this crease. Now just flatten it. Okay. So we're slow we're slowly getting rid of the paper. Let's do that again. Now, but on the now on this side. So hold the paper so the against this edge. And flatten it again. And I'm just gonna keep doing this. I sh I I'm pretty sure I only have to do it one more time, so. Maybe not, maybe, maybe two more times. There, okay. And now I can just fold this flat back. All right, and just like that, just by doing that, we close it and the paper's gone. Look at that, perfect. So let's do the same thing to this side and it's the exact same process. So first we fold it like this. And flatten. Now like this. Sorry, I'm not being like very technical, but I don't know, I'm making it up. All right, and for some reason, this side went a lot smoother. Now the back legs and the front legs. So this one is going to, okay. All right, so this this one's gonna kind of be like a like a V shape. All right, so after messing around with the fox base a little bit off camera, um, I was able to make the legs look exactly like the picture. So let me show you how I did that. Let's just unfold it really quick. Um. Yeah, so as I was saying though, like this base is really 
really nice because you can make the fox in like almost any position you want. Alright guys, so we have the fox base with no pleats made. Zero pleats are made, so a pleat is like folding it back and forth. Um, the To make the legs like this, all you have to do, all you have to do is a single pleat in the center. None in the front, none in the back. But where that pleat is, is very important. So uh, let's just make it really quick. And I, I'm adjusting it. The paper is like already folded, so I can easily adjust it. We need the pleat to be somewhere in the center and we want it closer to the front. So the front legs are smaller. So actually right here is perfect. Okay, so we have a single pleat in the center. Now let's open it up, sort of. Um, open it up, but still look at the outside. So we want the, the, the top of the V, the, the top of like the triangle, the top of the, the legs, right on the center of the, right on the pleat, but um, like how high you want depends on your taste. But the higher you make it, the, the better chance it's not gonna work. So let's just put it right there. So first step is um, to fold the back leg. Just just fold the back leg how you want it. So I'm gonna do that. Okay? So see how I just folded the back leg? Now it's obviously not gonna lay flat, so let's make it lay flat by folding the front leg. So now I'm gonna fold the front leg. Okay? See? Now it's still not gonna lay flat. Now just push down the center like that, and it'll lay flat. So it really doesn't matter how you do it, but look at that. It's exactly like the picture. Let's do it again on the other side. So, fold the back leg. See, we've just created the back leg. Now, fold the front leg. Front leg's folded. Now, just push down the center. And just like that, you have the legs that are in the picture. And ju and to do that, like, to copy what was in the picture, all I had to do was mess around with it a little bit. But what's important is where you pleat it and how many pleats you have. To, to do what was in the picture, all you needed was a pleat in the center. And you get this nice little standing standing fox. Um, okay, let's look at the other ones. To make to make the fox stand on to make to like make it like this. I had a pleat in the center, and I also had a pleat in the front legs. I did not have a pleat in the back legs. Um, so that required two pleats, whereas this one. This one only required one pleat. And finally, the sitting one. Sorry, there was a hair there. <laughs> the uh, sitting one. That required a pleat for the back legs and a pleat um, for the front legs. Ah, he keeps falling though. This was my first one. The head, I ripped the head trying to like figure it out, but... This is the very first one I made. So with this one, there's no middle pleat, but there's a front pleat and a back pleat. For that one, there's a middle and a front, and for this one, there's just a middle. So depending on what you want to do is like how many pleats you want and where. Generally, so the last thing I'm going to talk about is like when you want to make a pleat. When you make a pleat, it allows you to make like a like a corner like an angle like that so the reason the reason this has two pleats is because there's there's like a bend in the body so that's one pleat and there's a bend right there right in the front legs and that that's going to be the second pleat so again once you have the base you can mess around with it you can make as many pleats as you want to try to get the position you want and this is this is a really this is a really cool model because it allows you, it allows you as the folder to, to make it look like however you want. 
But so these are just three examples of what you can do with it. Um, and if you look in the book, those are the three examples. Uh, you've got the sitting one, you've got the four leg one, and you've got the standing up one. And I was able, I was easily, I mean not easily, it took like five or ten minutes, but I was able to recreate them. You can make them look however you want. There they are. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. This, like, this was half tutorial, half, like, theory, I guess, but hopefully you'll make your own fox. Uh, alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.